but he called him. Yeah. He said, he said, a prophet might be peace before him when he ever went to people and he called them. He called them not to worship him men, not to worship him women, not to worship him statues, not to worship him prophets, whether it be him or Jesus. Worship God alone. That was his message. Prophet Muhammad never went to anyone and said, we're going to force the Sharia on you. We're going to force your women to wear hijab. This was never the case. So the whole thing is that these people just don't understand Islam. You know? And why did you make Ajib Chaudhry our spokesman? Every time a bomb went off, you put him on TV. It's like a bomb goes off then Ajib Chaudhry is speaking about our religion. What was your criteria that you, the media, used to choose him? He doesn't know Arabic, yes? Um, he doesn't have a big enough, he doesn't even have a big following. Ajib Chaudhry, he didn't even have enough support, he didn't even have a mosque. So how did you make him our spokesman? How how is it every time something happened, he put him on TV? So imagine I'm an English white person, yeah, a plumber, electrician, IT consultant or whatever. I work hard, I come home, yeah, I'm eating my food here, yeah? and then I see on TV this guy with a bed, a, a foam, a, a, a kufi and a Islamic clothing. And he's saying, I've just worked hard long, you know, long hours. And then he said, he's going to put Shari on me. He's going to force my woman to wear their car. Obviously, if I don't mix with Muslims, and I'm not talking about, um, I'm not talking about the average, you know, a working class white person who um, lives on a council estate of that. Because like with all this stuff with Tommy Robinson, you know, on council estates, blacks, white, Asians, they all mix with each other. You know, we borrow sugar from each other. We take, take each other's kids to school. We don't have a problem with each other because we mix with each other. We go to the same schools. But there's a lot of white people who don't mix with Muslims and they live in push areas. And they, they don't know what actually practicing Muslim. So that person just watches BBC, ITV and gets their information about practicing Muslims from the news. So they go to work, whether it's in a city or plumbing or whatever, so forth. they come home. A, for 10 years this happened. They come over, they see this guy, Ajahn Chaji, with a big bed, with a kufi, an uh, Islamic hat, Islamic clothing. And he said, I'm going to force Sharon on you. I'm going to force your wife to wear hijab. Yeah, I'm going to stop you from drinking alcohol. So obviously, now when he goes outside his house now, and he sees a practicing Muslim, yeah, and he sees them wear with the bed and this, that, he even builds up hatred. And every time this bomb went off, or there's a problem here, or Israel, or Palestine, that, you let, you let Ajahn Chaji come on. So what happened is that the non-Muslim, white non-Muslim, that didn't mix with Muslims, starts building up a like hatred. And then there's tension on the street. That's why Tommy Robinson is getting all this stuff and, that, and, and all these followers and all this stuff. Because for 10 years you gave, you made a spokesman. And I want to know why you chose Andrew Prouty to be our spokesman. Why? It's not, he's not some big scholar of Islam, but he barely knows Arabic. He doesn't have a big follower for him. He didn't even have a mosque. So why did you make him his thing? We get on with each other, black, white, Muslim, non-Muslim, we're living on our council estates, uh, 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 working, going to school, just trying to provide a living. We all get on, uh, get on with each other. A white boy from the council estate is not going to believe in Islamophobia or Muslims want to take over the world. You know, he, he, he mixes with Abdullah and Zaid and Samir. But we got people like this, there's only two of them that come here in the park. But we got Abdul Hakim and, and Idris, we got them supporting this guy and they won't answer the question. Do you believe your leader said that 9-11 was permissible? Do you believe it? They won't answer it. Yeah? Do you believe that 7 7 was permissible? They won't answer it. Why? Because secretly, he's their leader and they believe it's okay. And us Muslims, we agree it's wrong. So basically, I apologise for my, my um, actions before. I'm a, I, I became Muslim in jail. Islam has sorted me out. I work now, you know what I'm saying? I've like, been married for 11 years. I, like, now, he, 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 according to Islam, even dropping a coke can on the floor is a big thing to me. I can't do it. Or, 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 or even how I treat like animals and stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? This thing has civilised me, yeah? And just to see these, these idiots that are basically supporting this guy and avoiding the question, you know? If you want to know about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he, he called to one God and not to, to worship men, women and children and so forth. He was chased out of Mecca, his home, by the idol worshippers. Because Mecca is in the middle of the desert. The only reason people used to come there was for tourism, to worship the false gods. And all the people that made, had all these gods made of stone and idol, they used to make money because people used to give money to these false gods. They used to give uh, jewellery to these false gods. So when he preached that there's one god and god is not a statue, god is not a man, god is not a woman, and god is not a lamb, and they kicked him out. When they kicked him out and he was forced to leave his hometown because they stole him and they boycotted him and they starved them and he left. He outgrew them in numbers. 
Then when he came back years after, when he outnumbered him, he could have slaughtered him, but he didn't. So, just pick up a biography of the Prophet and read about him and so forth. And that's what I'm saying, we as Muslims try to follow the, the Sunnah and the Salaf, yeah? Whenever these guys pop up and start defending these people, yeah? We're going to call them out. We're going to call them out because they don't represent us. You know what I'm saying? These cowards won't come on the camera and say, yes, we believe, as our leader said, yes, 9-11 is permissible, 7-7 um, is permissible, and we can kill um, uh, non-combatants. But we know what their believers said, so we're calling them out. So anyway, I end there, and I apologise for my action before, but this guy is tarnishing my deed, you know? Just like when I hear people say Muslim grooming guys. How can you call them Muslim grooming guys like it's tied to the religion? We don't child we don't say that child porn is is um we don't call them Christian Christian porn porn gangs or we don't call them what is it um atheist porn gangs why? Because you don't link it when it's a white person to the religion. So don't link it grooming gangs to Islam. So anyway, all I say is I say is that then, ask them, keep on asking you questions. Do you believe, as your leader believes, yeah, that 9-11 was permissible and 7-7 is permissible? Because if you don't agree with it, you will deny him and condemn it, yes? But these waste men, they won't condemn it because they believe it's permissible. They believe killing innocent Muslims and non-Muslims is permissible. But they won't, they won't say I'm coming and just beat another bush 24 7. So we are free from them and they're free from me. I don't care if he's got a bed, I don't care if he's got a hat, I don't care if he's wearing, if he's wearing an Islamic robe. Person, why? I don't care. The Prophet didn't kill innocent non Muslims and he didn't kill combat, non combatants. And I ended there. Thank you for your time. So, sorry, are you against the, the killing of uh, people in the West only or somewhere Worldwide, worldwide. Worldwide. Shia yeah. in Iraq. Are you against that? I'm against, yes, yes, yes. Innocent people yes. being killed. Innocent okay. people being yes. killed. Yes, yes. Pakistan, Afghanistan. Everyone, Every blue, blue, yellow, green, Good. whatever. No, no, not color. <laughs> not talking about color. Blue, yellow, green. <laughs>